everybody hope your day is going well we are back with larkin poe mad as a hatter this is an older video but i've done the summertime sunset reaction and somebody left a comment uh talking about this very performance so i said yo let me check this out you are so quiet so are we sometimes We wrote this for our grandfather, um, and he suffered from schizophrenia. And I think mental illness is one of those things that's very hard to talk about. It's an uncomfortable thing to talk about, but I think it's something that should be, we should be open about it. It's really hard to watch somebody slipping away, especially recently our our grandmother, our mom's mom, has been slipping away kind of into dementia. And so we are going to remember our grandparents when we sing this next one. It's about mental illness. It's called Mad as a Hatter. Wow. Wow. That's a beautiful first couple of lines there, man. Time, you know, it's a thief and it will rob you while you sleep. Hey, man, time is undefeated and it's hard for us to really grasp on what it is, you know. It's a concept for us, but what is it really, right? Is it an illusion? Is it happening all at once? Uh, but that's a different conversation. In this time, in this in human life, you know, it comes for all of us in different ways. And, you know, she set this up like, man, mental illness, it is very prevalent. But like she said, it's it's uncomfortable to talk about, as is death. And, you know, just the things that we, you know, don't really try to focus on in day-to-day -day life because it's painful. Uh, unless you're confronted with it, you know, and uh, when it's a parent or, you know, family, uh, schizophrenia, depression, dementia, very, you know, terrible, man. Very scary, you know, so very scary. Wow. And, and I love that they set that up because that would directly, you know, turn up my ear and now like, wow, okay, this is going to be powerful. And the first couple of lines, you know, as a writer myself, I always look out for the lyrics and those lines and I gather them. And that's the, I'm going to put that in a file because, you know, I'm thinking about doing some videos just about great lines and music. And I, I must remember this one. Oh, never feel it. it pulls off the covers, rifles through your head, and then you wait to find you can't remember what you just said happened. Wow. Just like the father of my father, time stole his mind, and I can't forget that one fourth of his blood is mine. I try not to worry. Mm, beautiful. I love the, the the continuous strumming pattern as well. Like it, it adds a little almost an eerie feeling. Um that is really like the the silver line through that song. Wow. You know, father of my father, you know, you know, time also took his mind and I'm one fourth of his line. Of course, you start to think about those kind of things. And that's something I'm very scared of too. And I don't even really know if it runs in my family. It's hard to trace mine, but uh, on my wife's side, there was definitely something like that. So it's very, very 
you know, scary and you try to, like I said, try to put it back in, in, into your mind, but then, you know, you start to think about, oh, you know, I got to make sure I sleep. I got to make sure I'm healthy. You know, you go crazy with when you think too much about it. So that's the, the other side of the coin where, you know, you want to talk about it, but you're also scared to speak it into existence almost. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I'm a hypochondriac, maybe. I don't know. Damn. Crazy, man. What a song. is incredible on this one i don't know who the writers are do they do it together is it somebody uh that does the soul writing on this in this uh band or the two or you know that's incredible writing they referred a couple of times to you know the title of course refers to alice in wonderland and through the looking glass also uh you know references throughout the song while making it their own as well that's a beautiful way of uh of constructing a, a song and the vocals man the vocals haunting almost best with what you get
that was incredible, man. And at the end, there was again the reference, you know, off at their heads and uh, to the Alice in Wonderland story. And, you know, when you have dementia, basically off at your head, you lose your, your, your mind, your identity, your personality, uh, some forms at least, not all forms. This is all different kind of stuff, but man, it's so scary. And she also, they also sung, please don't come for me, you know. I'll be good. You know, that's, those are lines that we say to ourselves sometimes when we're alone and, you know, sometimes we're afraid to admit it. Um, when we see that happening in the world and, you know, you almost pray to, to every being out there. It doesn't even matter if you're religious or not. You're just going to ask the universe, like, please, I'll be good. Uh, don't come for me. You know, uh, it's human, uh, especially as a kid. You know, I used to do that a lot. Uh, Dang, that reminded me of that. Beautiful. Thank you uh, to the person who recommended this in the other video. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad that I saw this and I heard this. A beautiful performance and an amazing song. I hope uh, that they could uh, at least uh, show it to their grandparents, that they had the chance, if they understood it that or got it or you know that they absorbed it, who knows, but it might have been uh, cool to to just do it and show it to them. That's why we have to do it while we're here while they're here, man. Come on. Shout out to uh to everybody uh, that's still here and you know, go uh, hug a loved one. Come on. Peace.